John and Anna. You have come here today to seek the blessing of God and of his church upon your marriage. I require, therefore, that you promise, with the help of God, to fulfill the obligations which Christian marriage demands. John, you have taken Anna to be your wife. Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, to be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Anna, you have taken John to be your husband. Do you promise to love him and comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, to be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Will you, who have witnessed these promises, do all in your power to uphold these two persons in their marriage? We will. Bless, O Lord, these rings to be a sign of the vows by which this man and this woman have bound themselves to each other. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Here. I'm going to give you this one. Join your right hands. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Um. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation and giver of grace, look with favor upon the world you have made and for which your son gave his life, and especially upon this man and this woman whom you make one flesh in holy matrimony. Amen. Give them wisdom and devotion in the ordering of their common life, that each may be to the other a strength in need, a counselor in perplexity, a comfort in sorrow, and a companion in joy. Amen. Grant that their wills may be so knit together in your will and their spirits in your spirit, that they may grow in love and peace with you and one another all the days of their life. Amen. Give them grace when they hurt each other, to recognize and acknowledge their fault, and to seek each other's forgiveness and yours. Amen. Make their life together a sign of Christ's love to this sinful and broken world, that unity may overcome estrangement, forgiveness heal guilt, and joy conquer despair. Amen. Give them such fulfillment of their mutual affection that they may reach out in love and concern for others. Amen. Grant that all married persons who have witnessed these vows may find their lives strengthened and their loyalties confirmed. Amen. Grant that the bonds of our common humanity by which all your children are united one to another and the living to the dead may be so transformed by your grace that your will may be done on earth as it is in heaven, where, O Father, with your Son and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign in perfect unity, now and forever. Amen.
O God, you have so consecrated the covenant of marriage that in it is represented the spiritual unity between Christ and his church. Send, therefore, your blessing upon these, your servants, that they may so love, honor, and cherish each other in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness, that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord mercifully with his favor look upon you and fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace that you may faithfully live together in this life and in the age to come have life everlasting. Amen. Please stand. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Love you, John. Yeah. Love you. Yeah. Love you, Peter. Peace. Peace be with you. Love you.